Hey all to new friends, it's another Perfect Pairings with JC for November 2019. The Perfect Pairing series is where I will show you a new product from this month's release and pair it with an old favorite or one that you have yet to discover. I'm always open to suggestions for what you would like to see on this series, so please let me know of an old set you would like me to use in the comments below. Today, I am working with Altenew Poppy Garden, new for November 2019. This is a gorgeous 6x8 floral outline stamp set with two coordinating sentiments. While searching for a stamp set to pair with this floral set, I kept in mind one of the sentiments. The I've been thinking of you sparked a dreamy night scene, sort of like I've been thinking of you day and night. So to make this fantasy image happen, I paired Altenew Poppy Garden with Altenew To The Moon Stamp and Die Set. To The Moon is my favorite stamp set from Altenew. I use it quite often for my personal stash. There is a smaller 2x3 mini version of this stamp set that came out with the November 2019 release, but today I will be using the 4x6 version to make a beautifully layered and alluring scene. In my mini misty, I have one of the smaller cluster of poppy flowers, a few leaves, and one of the smallest stem images. I'll be stamping these images in Altenew Permanent Black Crisp Ink. This specialty ink is specially formulated to resist movement for wet mediums such as watercolor and alcohol markers, which I will be using today. In order to make these stamp sets last a very long time, it's always best to immediately clean off your photopolymer stamps. Altenew has a 2 ounce stamp cleaner that works great at lifting the ink from your stamps. I use an inexpensive microfiber cloth to wipe off the ink from my stamps before returning it to my backing sheet. So now I've taped down my small stamped panel to my glass mat. I do this just for filming purposes, just so I don't move the paper out of frame. I will use Altenew Artist Markers Set B and Set C to color these flowers and leaves. I will speed through the coloring portion of this. I am simply coloring the flowers and leaves in a way I feel comfortable with. There are many great artists on the Altenew YouTube channel who have amazing tutorials on coloring. I am coloring the flower petals in the red sunset family and the leaves and other non-petal elements in warm gray. I left the smaller flowers white for some color variation in my arrangement. I am not coloring the stems of the images as I know I will be rearranging this cluster. Altenew Poppy Garden has a coordinating dye and mask stencil. However, for this project I am opting to fussy cut these images out. The advantage of fussy cutting is I can arrange these flowers however I want, and I feel like I have greater creative possibilities when doing it this way. I am using a swivel knife to cut out my images, but feel free to use scissors, uh, whatever is easiest for your project. Once I have all these images cut out, I will set everyone aside and work on the second pairing to this card. Like I said earlier, Altenew To The Moon Stamp and Die Set is my favorite stamp set. For this card, I am using the most detail layer to stamp in a light gray ink. I am using warm gray to coordinate with the Altenew Artist Markers. I am using my Mini Misty again because I am going to do some ink blending on my stamp to give me some depth. So what I mean by this is I am going to ink up my image in Morning Frost as a base layer. Then without moving the stamp or image, I'll partially ink the stamp in the next darkest ink, Evening Gray, and diffuse the ink on the stamp with an ink blending sponge. I used Moon Rock as well and followed the same previous steps to get a gradation on this moon. This will help give the illusion that the moon image is spherical rather than flat. I will grab the coordinating die for this image and my Altenew Mini Blossom die cutting machine to cut this image and I will set this aside while I work on the background. For the background of this card, I will do some very simple ink blending. I am using the warm gray family of inks again to make this ombre background. I am using a foundation blending brush to give me a very soft graduation of color, carrying the blend about two thirds of the way down my background. It looks really dark because it was getting dark outside while filming this video. Uh, a cold front was starting to move along in my home state, so 
Anyway, after turning on my filming lights, I added some white splatters with Altenu Pure White Ink Spray for a starry night scene. So then, while my background is drying, I prepped the sentiment strip using the wonderful I Have Been Thinking of You stamp. I used the scrap from the moon image and cut out a narrow strip with a blade and ruler. So now I have a prearranged cluster under some press and seal to the left, and my background adhered to my card base on the right. The first thing I'm going to do is raise the moon on some foam for dimension. The reason for pre-arranging the floral arrangement is to help with the positioning of the moon and flowers on my card front. So now that I have the moon in a location I'm happy with, I'll rearrange the flowers and leaves again to find a final arrangement, making sure I have room for the placement of the sentiment. And once I have an arrangement I'm happy with, I'll pick everyone up again with press and seal. I'll first use liquid glue to take down the leaves, smaller flowers, and bud. Then I'll use foam squares to add some height to the main two larger flowers. Lastly, I'll adhere the sentiment strip from earlier over top of the moon to complete this fantasy cluster. Now, I wanted to add embellishments to this card without adding additional colors, textures, or anything that will steer the attention away from the flowers and moon. So I took out my Altenew metallic watercolor pan set and reconstituted the sterling silver color. I added splatters of this metallic color on the flowers and outside the flower arrangement using a water brush and masked the moon to avoid adding splatters to that. I thought this gave a luminous quality to the scene and balanced out the moon if that makes sense. And that's it! Poppy Garden and To the Moon are a perfect pair and have made this fantasy, dreamy, floral scene come to life. If y'all have suggestions on your older Altenew favorites you would like featured on the series, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, share it with your Altenew friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another Perfect Pairings with JC, and I'll see you in the next one.